Kia ora tato. Uh, namaste. Sasriya Carl. Uh, Prime Minister, can I uh, thank you for the uh, invitation to be here in India. This is my uh, second visit as uh, Prime Minister, uh, the last one which took place in 2011. So uh, it's great to be back in the last uh, five-year period. Of course, uh, India has undergone tremendous change in growth and development. And uh, as I said uh, in our discussions, Prime Minister, we welcome you to uh, pay us a visit in New Zealand. Uh, I think you would enjoy the opportunity uh, not only to see a little more of our country, but uh, to engage with the diaspora uh, that is uh, very significant of uh, Indians uh, of uh, all ages that come and live and spend some time uh, in New Zealand. Of course, um, uh, as you say, uh, India is in the process now of celebrating Diwali, the, the festival of lights, uh, the triumph of good over evil. And uh, you also went on to be kind enough to talk about uh, uh, the cricket matches that have been taking place here in India, uh, but gracious enough not to be talking about the fact that India has been triumphing over New Zealand. Uh, we, of course, are trying to build a, a, as warm and close a relationship with India as we can, and we've gone to the extraordinary lengths of, uh, of ensuring that the former Black Caps uh, captain, uh, Brenda McCullen, is now playing for Gujarat. Uh, so uh, we are truly committed to the relationship between New Zealand uh, and, uh, and India. We had a, a very productive meeting uh, today. Um, New Zealand and India already share a strong and growing relationship which we believe can go from strength to strength. Uh, today, we, the Prime Minister and I discussed a range of new initiatives uh, which will help in this regard. We agreed on ways to work more closely together in areas such as food safety, cyber security, education and customs. This reflects the broadening nature of our relationship which is underpinned by uh, growing trade ties. As I said earlier, since my uh, a visit here in 2011, trade between India and New Zealand has increased by a third, uh, but there's the potential to do a great deal more. And both Prime Minister Modi and I are committed to creating uh, the business environments in our countries which allow our people to get ahead, uh, to create jobs and opportunities, and to create prosperity uh, for our people. Streamlining trade rules through high quality trade agreements will encourage that and Prime Minister Modi and I agreed to work towards that goal through our bilateral free trade agreement negotiations and the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership talks uh, ASEP. We also agreed to continue close co uh, coordination on a range of security issues, including international terrorism. I reiterated to Prime Minister Modi New Zealand's consistent support for India to become a member of the reformed United Nations Security Council, including if this means an expansion of permanent members. Both Prime Minister Modi and I uh, underlined our strong interest in advancing nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation. We had a detailed conversation about India's application to become a member of the Nuclear Suppliers Group. I acknowledge the importance to India of it joining the NSG. I also stated that New Zealand would continue to contribute constructively to the process currently underway in the NSG to consider India's membership. New Zealand is committed to working with the NSG members to reach a decision and as soon as possible. Uh, this has been a very productive meeting. Uh, once again, Prime Minister, uh, can I thank you and your government for the hospitality and the discussions we've had. Um, we have a genuine interest in India's success and we intend to remain true, honest and engaged friends. And can we congratulate you on all that you've achieved in uh, your time as Prime Minister. President Putin and I noted the similarity of our views on the situation in Afghanistan and turmoil in West Asia. We also agreed to work closely